Twitter. Oh wow, how did I miss this? This is my most favorite series. This is called This Is Us. Uh, this I recently watched it like two couple of months back or you know few months back. This Is Us. It's a very beautiful series. It's on Hotstar and many on other platforms also. But it's really beautiful. It's about a family, a triplets, and one of them was adopted on the same day. A bond but adopted on the same day. So it's about the story of the triplets and their relationship between them, their parents, their father, and uh, the mother. It's like very beautiful, and it's real. I don't know how, how, why, but it's a normal story. But it's really heartwarming. It's like friends. You. Whenever you want something heartwarming, you just put on an episode, and it's really heartwarming. Uh, so the love between the family members and all of that. So it's really a good watch. This is us. Watch it. And uh, there's Mandy Moore in, acted in this, and a uh, guy who's acted as a father is also really good. I forgot his name. I forgot his name. What? Tilly or something. I forgot his name, but he's also very cute. So yeah, guys. So this is one recommendation. Uh, the third one is an old one but gold one, The Vampire Diaries. All teenage girls love watching The Vampire Diaries. I just watched it last year so I'm new to the party but I really loved it. So there are like 10 or 11 seasons in The Vampire Diaries. It's an old one but you will love it guys. So I've never watched actually vampire series before. I thought I'm not a person who watch vampire series. A lot of vampire series out there but this is a cult one called The Vampire Diaries and the most important thing is the handsome guys in it. Guys. So uh, Ian Somerhalder is there, he's very handsome and you can watch the show just for him. Okay. So the other series which I would recommend is Suits. Yes, Suits is very famous. It also has nine seasons or something. It's like uh, lawyers doing their work. Every episode is very interesting. It has a story to it and how they solve the thing and you know about their form and everything. Okay, so it's lawyer stuff. So yes, guys, Suits. That's my recommendation. The, uh, there are some old ones, but golden ones. If you've not watched, like. Grey's Anthony. I watched it like so many years back. I think six years back or something. But still it's going on. Grey's Anatomy is still going on. But I just stopped. There are like 16 seasons in Grey's Anatomy. It's about the doctor, the hospital, the cases that come. If you like doctor stuff, you should watch it. So the other series in this Benjamin section is uh, Crown. So if you like to uh, learn about British, you know, the, the British Queen and their family, then watch Crown. It's very nice. Actually, there are three seasons, but I love the first two seasons. I think in the third season, they changed the actors. So after that time, I have not watched it, but the first two seasons, I loved it. So it is very information also you know about the inside story of the uh, queen's family and the royal family so crown and uh, yeah so the other series i have in this section is the velvet okay i think it's called the velvet or velvet on netflix it's again a spanish series and uh, you can watch it with english subtitles it is beautiful it's about uh, uh you know it's it's taken in the 1950s and it's so beautiful i somehow love time period series when you are transported back in time, everything is like retro and uh, the sets, the people, the culture, everything, you get a different taste like watching a movie. So this series was taken in the 1950s where a person, the hero is running a, a clothes store and how he struggles in developing the business and how he falls in love with an employee or, a, you know, employee in his company and how he struggles to you know, marry her or something like that. So it's very beautiful. I think there are nine seasons or eight seasons. So you will spend a lot of time watching these episodes and series. So the other, there are so many to say, but yeah, I just put on through them and uh, so that you have a lot of options. Okay, the other option is Lost in Space. Lost in Space is like if you like space related stuff, Lost in Space. And if you like fictional story, The Hundred. The Hundred is like 100 people have dropped onto the Earth's to Earth or another planet to find a place which is suitable for living. So that is like The Hundred. So if you like fictional stories and end of the world, survival kind of situation, you will like The Hundred. And uh, Jack Ryan on Prime, that is also good. And uh, 
the old ones like uh, blind spot blind spot is good and fringe i've recently started watching fringe it's about mind stuff you know uh, you know metaphysical uh, you know mind related uh, science neuroscience and all of that it's also investigation and uh, all of that so fringe and lastly i have downton abbey right yes downton abbey which is very beautiful if you like english series you know uh, family which is taking an english house royal family kind of their story and how they're coping up with the modern times so you can watch downton abbey now oh, it will be fun to watch all that to learn about the english culture so downton abbey is one of my favorites and yes guys so those bear my recommendations for binge worthy series sorry guys the video had stopped and i had finished talking about all the 50 imagine but i'll do it again so the next in line we have i have uh, some recommendations for the dark side of netflix <laughs> you know the real netflix kind of series netflix we have a lot of dark uh, series which is like very depressing or horror or bad things happening but you know you can watch some of it which is really good and then immediately watch something light and fun like I recommended before and equalize the mood okay so in the first uh, recommendation I would give something related to the current situation the virus outbreak and all of that because these are very I see it as an informational watch for example the contagion movie on Netflix so this movie uh, imaginary situation of a virus outbreak very similar to the COVID-19 situation so you will be astonished and surprised how they came up with this outbreak very similar to the corona if you really don't want to watch the virus outbreak then please skip it but I think it's very informational and uh, you would really know what goes on behind the scenes like we, uh, we hear these words like WHO, CDC and all of that right you really know what is their function and uh, what is their responsibility how they take action to control this epidemic and uh, what really goes on behind the scenes okay how they develop vaccines and all of that you will come to know you'll understand it much more you know things that they don't show us uh, uh, through the media or the government stuff they don't tell us you will understand this through these movies another recommendation is uh, our own indian movie it's called virus a malayalam movie it's about the nipa outbreak which nipa virus outbreak which happened in 2018 this movie is about it and how they handle the situation and how they you know brought the situation under control so it's a very good watch especially for us indians to know what goes on behind the scenes and uh, most importantly how the virus spreads because you know it's the first hand information how the virus started spreading and it spread to so many people in short time so uh, and also what happens to a person once he gets affected by the virus none of the medias or government show about what happens to the person right after he gets infected so you will see what happens to the person, their family, the family don't get to see them at all, you know, for months. Uh, so, yeah, it's very emotional, but yeah, I would recommend to watch if you want to know about all this so that you stay informed and you know the importance of staying at home. After watching these two movies, you would, I'm sure that you will listen to the government's lockdown policies and you will stay at home. So these two are the virus related movies that you should watch for informational purpose okay the other recommendations in this series i have is black mirror so this is like well-known dark series that everybody you know there's a meme out there it says like the current situation is an episode of a black mirror series so yeah black mirror is that kind of series so each episode has a different story so you can watch black mirror episodes and recently i've started watching another series called the dark uh, dark so it is a german series but you do have english audio and english subtitles so you can watch it it's very eerie and uh, another series that i would suggest is the stranger things so that also i watched and dark series depressing series i watched this uh, 13 reasons why yes 13 reasons why is also about teenage suicidal and uh, all of that so these are dark series that i would you know if you want to watch these are the ones to pick from and uh, documentaries let's move on to documentaries i have uh, two documentaries just two so one is chernobyl it is also a dark but it is like really 
So we are event based. It's about the nuclear disaster which happened in uh, Russia, Chernobyl, and it's like much more than this virus outbreak. It is like a nuclear disaster. There's nothing like it, and how they struggled to control the situation and what happened to that place in real. It's a real life situation. So most of us, you know, don't know about it. So it's historical and informational to watch Chernobyl. It's on Hotstar, so you can watch Chernobyl. And the other light one to watch is The Two Popes. So The Two Popes is on Netflix. Uh, it's about two popes. See, uh, I don't know much about popes, but when I went to Vatican City, I thought like popes are really seen as like next to God or something like that. But this documentary breaks all of that and shows the life of the popes. You know, the normal life, what they go through, their mindset. Uh, the, they also have confusions and struggles, and uh, you know, they feel lonely and all of that. It's just a conversation, beautiful conversation between two popes, and it's also historical because it is real life based. Uh, you know, they compare it to a real popes, you know, the pope change, the last pope change which happened. So it's a conversation between two popes about their normal life and their confusions and all of that. Okay, so I know guys, it's been a long video, but we have all the time in the world. So pause it. If you want to pause it, go grab something to eat and then come back and give you more recommendations, okay? So next we have TV shows. For example, you don't want to watch all the stories, movies. I want something like Big Boss or some reality TV show. You can watch, you know, cooking shows like Master Chef or you can watch these shows which is like... I like especially Queer Eye. So Queer Eye is like on Netflix and it's like five gay boys who run uh, the show and they give a complete life makeover of selected people and it's like a complete life makeover. They pick up like depressed people or really poor people or something like that and they change their life. They change their life by giving them a new perspective to life. It's very motivational, inspirational and also they give you fashion tips, cooking tips and all of that in one series that you can watch Queer Eye. Then I have Hasan Minaj. It's my usual recommendation. It's like fun and a lot of information in each episode. He talks about, I love it because I'm that kind of a person. I love graphic like infographics, statistics and uh, graphs and facts and everything in one show with humor. So Hasan Minaj. The third thing is, um, recently I watched it. It's called The Circle. It's a social experiment. It's very similar to a Facebook and Instagram culture, right? So they simulate this kind of social uh, platform and they it's like big boss but not big boss they make them stay in different individual rooms like us lockdown and you are allowed to interact with other participants only through this platform you know like facebook and then how you know, they find out in the end they find out who's the most influential person so it's a mind game right so it's happening real time instagram and facebook so you will love it if you like you know to watch what's how people tend to behave, you know, there are, they call it catfish, like uh, a boy, you know, fake, creates a fake ID and he is like a girl so that he can talk to more people, right, so those kind of things about social networking you learn by watching this show called The Circle. The next recommendation I have, next in fashion, so it's a fashion uh, reality show, they call it like fashion designers, like from amateurs or to experts and then they give them tasks to uh, and competitions to find who is the best fashion designer out there and uh, even though you're not in fashion, it will be very informational to find what goes behind the design of your clothes, right, and what skills they need to have to to make it big in the fashion industry. It's really fun to watch it. It's a quick watch. So next in fashion. So that was my reality TV show's recommendation. Okay. So quickly, I'll tell you some movies to watch. Okay. I don't have many movies recommendations right now, but I'll tell you some of the best movies, Korean movies. For example, Parasite, guys. Uh, Parasite is now available on Prime, Amazon Prime, so you can watch it. Uh, it's an Oscar winning movie, if you don't know. So I watched it in the theatre and I really loved it. So watch it at the comfort of your home. It's on Prime and uh, uh, watch it first and then go read about it because there's a reason behind every scene why the director chose to you know direct that scene that way and then go back and watch it again to understand it more better. Okay, so Parasite movie is there. Uh, it's much more than the story itself. He's shown a lot of society's issues addressed in the movie so it's very good. 
So watch it and let me know how you liked it. And the same characters movie I watched two, uh, two movies. One is Snowpiercer. It's an English movie, uh, completely shot inside the train, and uh, that's also really good. It's on Netflix. And uh, Okja. So Okja, there's a warning. I'll give you a disclaimer. So if you're a non-vegetarian, um, if you watch this movie, it's really depressing because you might stop eating non-veg also. So that's a disclaimer. Otherwise, Okja is a good movie. Okay. And then another great recommendation, if you haven't watched Train to Busan, watch it guys, I'm so late to the party, Train to Busan is really good, it's a Korean movie, it's also taken inside the train, it's a, it's a zombie apocalypse movie, I've never watched zombie movies, I never thought I'd watch a zombie movie before, but this movie is really good, you'll not even realize it's a fake incident, you get a fictional incident, you you know, with the all the with all the things going on in the world, you really feel anything can happen and you really put yourself in that situation and watch the movie. It's like very good. And uh, the actors have done a really good job the director. I love the way it is directed and the uh, little girl who is acted is like amazing, especially the last scene is amazing guys. You should watch Train to Busan if you're not watching any of this, okay? Okay, now a light one, a romantic Korean movie, uh, a Korean series is something in the rain. So you can watch this, a light, beautiful, romantic, as you should, Korean series. Uh, I've not watched much of Korean series in during this time, but uh, this is a beautiful one, something in the rain. Okay, what did I miss? Now I have a list here, I've told you everything, I've missed some of it, okay? I'll, after watching all of this, if you still have time, watch these ones, okay? You can watch Person of Interest, that's an old series but go on one. Uh, then you can watch Mentalist, that's also mind related stuff. And and uh, finally, if you still have time, watch Light Watch is Young Sheldon on Time. It is about Sheldon who was in the Big Bang Theory, right? His younger self is a nerdy fellow, like a prodigy, and how his family copes up with his tantrums and all of that. So, Young Sheldon is also good. And the other one, Indian series comical, is Sumiti Suresh's uh, series called Push Pavali. It's a fast watch, just two seasons, and uh, yeah, Sumiti Suresh, she's acted very well. So, Push Pavali, okay? That, it, it has a little of Tamil in it. So, yeah. So these were my recommendations for till now. If I have more, I will really come back and give you all my recommendations. I'm still watching a lot of them I have in my watch list. So if you have good recommendations for me, please put down in the comment below and I will watch it right away and give you a review in my next video. I also have other videos coming up to keep you entertained and engaged at home. How to use this time usefully. You know, today was all about entertainment but I'll tell you about yoga, workouts and DIYs and learning new skill, new language or something you know, useful so that you can spend this time usefully. Okay, so share this video with your friends because if they ask you what are you watching on Netflix, share this video so they can get like 50 recommendations to watch on uh, Netflix and Prime and all of that. So be subscribed, stay tuned, stay home, stay safe, be healthy. I wish you all health. Okay, bye. Go blame the drum blows, yeah